Hey friends, it's Zane here from At Home with Zane. Welcome back. Today I want to share with you a simplistic idea that you can utilize for creating a centerpiece or an accessory for your Easter decor. Now, this is really very inexpensive, but you can really make it look like it's got a high-end look just by adding a few finishing touches. So first off, I'm gonna start with a cake stand. And the cake stand I'm using is a milk glass cake stand, but you really could use any cake stand that you chose. Um, this cake stand actually happens to be a 12 inch round cake stand. And the boxwood wreath that I'm going to be using is also a 12 inch wreath. So the cake stand um, I've had for many years, I purchased it at an antique mall, um, but you can pick them up at many of your retailers as well. The boxwood wreath is a 12 inch wreath that I purchased at Marshall's and it's included in one of my recent haul videos and it was $10. And then my last piece that I'm gonna use is this white ceramic bunny that I purchased from uh, Hobby Lobby and it was $8.99 with a 40% off coupon. So we're going to, this is so simple, but the impact and the look is really elegant and it's really charming. So all I'm gonna do is use my cake stand, take my wreath, and you don't have to use a boxwood, but I just, I love them, I prefer them, but really any wreath that is, um, you know, has some greenery in it is gonna give you the same effect. And then what I'm going to do is to create that extra sort of high-end look. We have a simplistic white bunny here, a rabbit, and I'm going to add some ribbon to it. Now, the reason that I'm adding the ribbon is because it really gives it the finished look. Um, it would certainly be fine to leave it just as it is, but I'm going to add the ribbon because I think it's going to add a little bit of um, color for one. It's also going to add texture and it's also going to add some visual interest. And it's going to sort of kick it up a notch and make it look like it's got a little bit more of a high end look. The other thing is now when I'm choosing my ribbon, I want to use something that's actually going to be um, a little bit larger and a little bit more substantial. Um, I'm not using a thin ribbon here. I'm using something that actually has a more substantial, bulkier look. And I want it to be longer because this ribbon, I'm scrunching it up a little bit here so that whenever I place it inside of my wreath form here, I will have a little bit of extra that can sort of hang over and it's gonna give it that sort of nice finished look with the bulky ribbon on the front and it's a simplistic, easy, inexpensive way to create a centerpiece or a piece for your side table for your spring decor. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments below. Visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love. Oh,